What's up, Jtopians? How you doing, my loves? All right, so I'm in this bisexual group on um, this app called Band, right? And someone in the chat has sent this video. Now, take a look at the video and then we'll talk. Actually, straight men can fall in love with other men. It's very typical in Italian cultures and Arab cultures for men to have loving feelings for other men and can even have romantic feelings for other men, and they may or may not act on them. But I will tell you that when straight men hook up with other men, sometimes they do kiss and sometimes they do fall in love. But they're still straight, just like when a gay man falls in love with a woman and kisses her and has fun in the bedroom. And when a lesbian falls in love with a man and has fun in the bedroom, she can fall in love with him as well. So we understand that and no one says, oh, no, no, she's not really lesbian or no, 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 she's he's not really gay. Yes, they really are gay. They just fell in love with somebody of another gender. And so did the lesbian. Straight men and straight women can hook up and fall in love. The difference is it's not about their orientation. It's not about their identity. They're not attracted to men in general, straight men, women, straight women are not attracted to women in general. It's just a, a contextual thing at a time and a place. And it's just random. Okay. So here's the thing about the video, all right? <laughs> all right, there's two things. There's two things here, okay? There's two things. The first that I want to say is I understand that sexuality is a spectrum and there's no real way to doing sexuality you know what i mean there's no it, it's very flexible it's very all that jazz whoop de whoop whoop de whoop but whatever that man was saying you're gay you're, <laughs> you're gay ain't no way in hell you listen listen and like I, this is just this is like kitchen table talk okay we can talk at some point, at some point, at some point, it come closer. At some point, we have to say something has to stop. Okay. Now, I understand, you know, and I've said this in a previous video. I don't know which one, but I've said this in a previous video. Labels are shitty, but labels labels are a thing for a reason labels have its purpose because it identifies something okay hear me out you have a jar of sugar and a jar of salt you come into a room you like oh shit which one is salt which one is sugar so you put let's say you let's say you making i guess since it's thanksgiving let's say you're making some candy yams and you want to put sugar in them motherfucking candy yams and you end up putting salt in that bitch. So here's my thing. If you had a label on that bitch, you wouldn't have salty yams. We have to put labels on something. I feel like if if we cut out labels in general, it could be an easier thing to process and sexuality could be an easier thing to process. But at the end of the day, you cannot be straight and have romantic and sexual feelings for the same gender. That completely, that completely just throws away the whole definition of what it means to be straight. Definitions are a reason. Labels have purpose. You know what I mean? But point two that I want to make. As a bisexual man, I feel like... It, the video completely disregarded every fucking thing that a bisexual is like you're like i feel like and and they brought it up in the chat it's like you're completely like wiping out what it means to be bisexual so not only are you contradicting what the definition of straight is but you're also contradicting the definition of bisexual bisexual you see what i'm saying you cannot be straight 
by definition and still be like, oh, I'm attracted. I'm romantically attracted to this guy. Now, can you experiment and still be straight? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a long shot, but absolutely. And the reason why I say it's a long shot is because once a dude that can suck dick, suck your dick, it's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. If you've been fucking with women all your life, but you've always been curious about se- like fucking with niggas and you find that one that could do tremendous things with a penis, you're not, no, no. Uh, now there are times, and I'm not saying this is all the time. I'm not saying this is all the time. Some people that I know personally was like, yeah, I tried it, didn't like it. You're straight. If you if you can come to me and say, hey, Jalen, I tried fucking with a dude. I didn't like it. Then that's fine. I would I would be like, then yes, you are straight. And indeed, in fact, you are straight. You're romantically attracted and sexually attracted to the same gender. That's by definition homosexual. And if you're romantically attracted to men and women, or you like, you just, or it, it could be just, it could honestly be just one man. I still feel like you're either bisexual, we exist, or bi curious, which I feel like the only way you're curious is if you haven't tried it, but you're thinking about trying it. But you're on the spectrum. You can be pans. Like, I, I, I don't understand. Like, I think that this video really kind of, like, gives a prime example of how the idea of bisexuality just slept under, swept under the rug. Regardless, I feel like the video has some flaws. But with that being said, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would really much so appreciate it. Um, And I will see you in the next video, my loves.